Hello, this is Lucia Mitra. My father passed away suddenly, about 25 years ago, 10 days after his 50th birthday. He was the only one who did not judge me, who accepted me, quietly, but he did. He was the only one who made me feel sort of safe. His crossing over was devastating to all of my family. Even more so because we lost my mom's dad, my grandfather, just six months prior. At the time my father crossed over, we did not have a funeral home at my hometown. His body stayed in our house, in our formal dining room. Everything was a big blur for me. But one moment I will never forget. I looked into a room where his body was laying and I saw his elderly parents sitting right next to him, just looking at him quietly. They look so tiny, so old and fragile. My heart cried out not just for me, but for them too. No parents, especially in this old age, should bury children. After we buried him, when it first started raining, I remember thinking, is he cold? Silly stuff crosses your mind. I wanted to talk to my father just for one more time. What I hated the most was the fact that I was scared. The first time in my life I was scared of soul that crossed over. This was my father. I loved my father. But I was so scared and so desperate to talk to him. About three days after the burial, I finally decided to clean the room where his body was displayed. I got a vacuum cleaner and started vacuuming. It stopped working. I stared at it for a minute, realizing I am home by myself. I turn it on, and after a minute it stopped working again, and the lights start flickering. I knew and felt my father was with me. I was terrified, frozen, I did not know what to do. Me, who can see and communicate with souls. I was afraid, frozen, because the only soul I really, I really wanted to talk to. I just told him, not now please, and vacuum cleaner turned on by itself. I felt numb the rest of the evening, disappointed with myself, fearing he will never come back. But that night, I had a dream. Well, now I know it was a vision. I still remember every detail. 25 years later, I saw myself in a room on the second floor of our house. The door to the room with balcony suddenly opened, and I saw him. There was my father. The room behind him was lit in a dim, goldish white light. He looked at me, very sad, and then he told me, I never hurt you when I was alive. Why would I hurt you now? He looked at me one last time, turned away, and left closing the door behind him. I woke up sobbing and I cried myself into sleep. After that visit, I was never, ever afraid of him, but I was not able to let go of him. I was depressed. I did not know how to deal with this loss. When I moved to United States, one day I learned of John Edward, the medium from Long Island, and purchased his book one last time. This book, John's teachings, 
turned some kind of switch within me. I was finally able to let go of him because I realized that I will never lose his love for me. Love never dies. I could not touch him. I will never see him holding my son. But I know his love is with me. And I could talk to him. It was actually John Edward himself who first connected me to my father some 20 years later. I needed the confirmation through a third party. I needed somebody else to connect me with my father to let me know that what I feel, see and hear is real. It was an amazing experience I will never forget. I felt like everything ceased to exist. There was only John, me and my father. I am forever grateful to John for the honor to be able to experience it. Then the questions came. What if John did not trust his gifts? What if he thought that he's not good enough and never start doing what he's doing? I would never be able to let go of my father. I would never be able to just love him. Then I decided I need to share my gift too. My biggest passion is healing, but soon I realized that I cannot separate healing and soul connection even if I want to, and I tried. If I do healing work, messages will come. If I do just the connections, the healing energy would flow to the one that accepted. The time came, and I'm ready to start offering gallery-like group medium readings, soul connections. Since I'm getting messages and connecting with living souls too, I do not call that just mediumship. That would be misleading. It is a really soul connection and conversation. For now, I prefer small groups of friends and family members so I can bring messages to for everyone. Saying that, I want to remind you that I am on a need-to-know basis. I only receive message that you need to know. I cannot summon someone. They are always in charge who's coming. I only give messages that come. Not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Because I happen people who came for soul connections end up having the greatest experience from the healing session. And people who came for a healing session actually got the best messages. I know this work brings great healing. And I am willing to share my gift with you. Are you ready to receive it? So if you want to gather your friends or family and experience this, I would love to hear from you. You will find more information how to contact me on my website. I posted link below. I love you very much. Yours, Lucia Mitra.